Hello all. Today we are going to see the remaining part of this text design. So, so far we have created this one. So, we are going to create today this shadow glow effect and then the bevel depth, the 3D depth part. Okay. So far it has come out really uh, good, but it's looking differently, right? Okay, first we are going to create this uh, depth part. So come into the um, text and just duplicate this layer. For duplicating, you can right click on the layer and just uh, click duplicate layer and it will ask for the name this way you can duplicate or just clicking ctrl j you can duplicate so we need only one duplicate so delete this one um we don't need this text style so just right click here and then uh, do clear layer style okay now we are having the plain text so for this we are going to give uh, a bevel like this color okay so for that i'm just going to keep this layer a duplicate version just to compare the color okay just duplicate here um and then the main part we are going to make this invisible or uh, not this one the main one okay just double click on the layer uh, we will get the layer style go to bevel and emboss and uh, this time this is chisel hard uh, we need only one color for this text so just give a color overlay that is something uh, same to this color. You have to choose some color which is uh, related to this main uh, text one. Okay. So, so this red we need but a darker color shading. Okay. Just for reference we are doing this. Mm, I think maybe this color. You can choose any color, but it has to match this one. Okay. Okay, saturation. Okay, this one is fine for me. Uh, go to the bevel emboss and then increase the size. See, while increasing, you will see the depth, right? So this is how we are creating the depth for the depth part for the original text see if you increase the size means up to some particular size it will give this kind of bevel that is what we need and then uh, you can uh, increase the depth Okay. This one is fine. Um, we have to just place this one to the back side of that main text so that we will check whether it is looking good or not. Okay. So we have our main text and then this big one. one. So what I have done here is see 
If you look closely, you can get how to do this. I have just increased the scale on the up part only. So just select the layer and uh, for transformation, control T. So it is selected. Um, just scale upside only not proportionally just scale it only upside up to this spot so that it will look like it is giving the depth for the text this is okay yeah this is looking good zoom a little bit Um, see this. Okay, I'm again going to transform this one. Transform to this to so this is enough. Okay. Fine. Let's see. Now we don't need this much dark here. Okay. This sides. And all we don't need uh, this much dark. So go into that bevel and uh, adjust the angle. Um, and before changing the angle, just deselect this one. We don't need, we don't have to use the global light. If you check that and change this means, it will change entirely. So don't do that um level and emboss don't need global light okay so we are having here this color uh we don't need that much white there can pick from here itself the color this is nice right okay and then all this also not that much dark select the same color and uh, pick some more dark okay okay you can uh, play with adjusting the softness and uh, changing the mode and changing the colors whatever you can because it will give many 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 new styles okay so that is your choice you can create endless creations okay I'm going to change this one to the same one uh, screen so that we don't get the black tone that much. Okay. So, okay. This is looking good. So far, we have given the depth for this text. And uh, now we have to create the glow and uh, shadow part. Okay, we need another copy for this uh, text. So this one we don't need. Just delete this. Um, we need a copy. So just duplicate any one of these. And clear the layer style. 
Okay. So now we are going to create the shadow part. The control T for transform. And then a zoom out. We are just going to change this upside down. Okay. And hold the uh, engine just press enter. Uh, we don't need this text anymore uh, to be a text layer so we can just rasterize this layer type why you are rasterizing means to to get the axis to do this transformation if we don't rasterize means we can't do this kind of transformation so that's why we are rasterizing the layer okay so how to do this see this is flipping uh we just flip this layer by holding control shift and alt you will see this armor the white armor okay so click and drag you will get this kind of effect just uh, release the three buttons then after that uh, just click here and make it bigger so we need we have what we need the center okay we don't need this much dark also we have to blur this one like this okay first we need to blur this one so go to the filter option and go to blur Gaussian blur okay don't blur that much uh, just we need a, we need to see the font a little bit uh, blur it so that we, we can see the text a little bit okay it will be it will look realistic and okay and then now uh, opacity to down to some more 25 okay and bring this layer down since this is the shadow okay we have done the shadow and now we are going to create a, a glow so again duplicate this one control j clear the layer styles mm. change this font color to white okay so just plain white okay also uh, we need just another copy of this font so just copy one one time uh, for now just invisible that layer uh, this font we are going to rasterize it Okay, this time we are going to do the glow effect. So again, filter, blur. This time we have to choose a radial blur. So here you have to choose zoom, not spin. Spin will give a blur like spin, like round. See, you can see the art work here no this is somewhat like graph so if you increase the amount it will blur like this so we don't need that one we have we want zoom okay okay also we need the zoom has to be from 
down part so not exactly zooming from the central part so just change this point to downwards so that it will create a radial zoom blur on the upside so hit ok see we need uh, we have here a nice glow but this is on the upside so we have to move this layer down to the text main text spot so it will have that effect right okay, and then again control J duplicate that uh, glow pot and this time bring up the layer you have to blend this one so here we can give soft light so why we are creating this means it, it should look like it is uh, penetrating between these uh, text so that it will be realistic right if you have only one layer means it, it will go the blur will go only on the back side of the text so so to have the feel of uh, that zoom in the front part also we are doing this one okay another one see if we are getting this much shadow here means so there has to be some light source behind this one see So I have created a light source behind this one. So can you see it? That we can create by simply uh, creating a rectangle. Just a rectangle. Let's create one rectangle. okay and uh, we are going to fill this one to gradient overlay um, I need only white change this one to white we don't need this color so this is also white Clicking here and I don't need the new. Still, we are seeing that black color. This is because it is filled with that color. So, just uh, go to this blending option default. You will see the opacity and fill opacity here. Just make it to down to do zero and come to the gradient overlay. We need a reflected one. Okay, this is also giving some kind of effect. <coughs> okay, now we are going to create not this one, somewhat this angle, zero angle. So this way we are going to create a gradient. Okay. Scale up. This is fine. Okay. Um, transform it up to the text layer. Okay. I bring it to back. So we have the right source. But this is looking very sharp. So that is also we don't need. So just uh, rasterize this layer. Also rasterize layer type. Filter blur, Gaussian blur. 
even more. Okay. Is it being good? Okay. Fine. And the back side, we are having uh, so much void, right? So this one is. So we can blend this with the background color somewhat. Color dots. This is fine, I think. Everything is looking good. And your shadow took it down. Okay. So we have uh, created the glow board, the shadow board, everything. <coughs> Sorry. This is. Uh, See here, I have uh, created a glow. Just uh, in the central part itself, so that's why it's having this kind of effect. So if you need to do how, if you if you want to do like that, means you can keep the radial blur angle to the default center part itself so you will have that effect to understand it better i am going to show you control j i am duplicating that clear layer style uh, changing this to white color so for now i am uh, invisibling that layer so the back one okay so rasterize this layer um, go to the filter option and blur radial blur so keep the point center itself Okay, amount reduce little bit. Okay, hit okay. See, you will have that kind of effect here. So the same way I have created here. So that's why it's looking like this. So you can play with that also. By creating many many types of blur you will create unique effects so okay so that's it we have created a powerful 3d text with the shadow glow effect and the depth Oh, you liked it very much if you if you are trying to create this style means go ahead and create your create this in your own way and uh, you can uh, post a screenshot of what you have created in the post uh, sorry in the comments I'm very excited to know how it has come out Okay, we will see you in the next tutorial. See you.